someone dies, we all hope they go on to a better place. But in some instances, people die and their bodies go unclaimed. And as WIAT 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle found out, that's creating a problem for the Etowah County Coroner. Yeah, good evening, Michael. I'm here at the Etowah County Detention Center. Right next to it is the Sheriff's Office. But behind this building is a refrigerated home for the deceased gone unclaimed. Etowah County Coroner Michael Head already has a tough job of pronouncing people dead. But once he does that, he has an even bigger problem. But we start at the top here, we got a log book that we log the bodies in when we, when we receive them. Inside of this mobile morgue trailer is room for up to 24 bodies. But currently there sits the 11th body this year of an elderly woman who died at a nursing home in March. We're housing one body that family uh, refused to take custody of. There's multiple cases of it. Several times a year we encounter that and the coroner and the probate judge have to go through the process of, um, you know, trying to find family members. As you can see, there must be an extensive effort to locate the next of kin before closing the final door on the dead. Unclaimed bodies is a sad ordeal that police and the coroner keep in the back of their minds. They, they bring bringing the person into the world, but when it's time, their time to go, then you know they won't have nothing to do with them. It's unfortunate that the county has to take that responsibility, but you know we're we're giving that person the proper dignity and respect that they deserve. Now, the longest this coroner has held an unclaimed body was for seven whole months. Now, once the body is approved to be cremated, each one costs the county four hundred and fifty dollars. In Etowah County, Stefan Dingle, WIT 42 News, coverage you can count on. Etowah County recently approved funding for the coroner to obtain his own mobile morgue that will hold up to two people at any given time. Well,